In this video, we're going to go over series and parallel circuits as it relates to the brightness of a light bulb. So right now we have one light bulb. I want to show you how bright it is when I apply three volts to this light bulb. As you can see, it's pretty bright. And if I use the entire six volts on it, it's going to burn out. So I don't want to do that. Now let's see what happens when we put another light bulb in series with this one. So here we have two light bulbs in series. Notice that the brightness decreased. The two light bulbs are not as bright as the individual light bulb before. The reason being is each light bulb carries resistance. Now these are identical light bulbs. When you put two series when you put two resistors in series with one another, the total resistance increases. And according to Ohm's law, whenever you increase the resistance of a circuit, keeping the voltage the same, the current is going to decrease. And that's why these two light bulb, excuse me, these two light bulbs rather, that's why they're not as bright as the first one. It's because there's less current flowing through the two light bulbs due to the increase in resistance. So now we have three light bulbs in series with one another. As you can see, the brightness has been further reduced due to uh, less current flowing through these three light bulbs. And so that's the disadvantage of series circuits. When you put multiple light bulbs in series, the brightness decreases. Each light bulb has a voltage drop across it. So the voltage across each light bulb would be approximately one volt because you have three volts connected across all three light bulbs. So because the voltage across each light bulb is less, there's gonna be less current flowing through it. The total resistance of the circuit is three times as high as when we first started. And so that's the main reason why we see this decrease in brightness is because there's less current flowing in the circuit. So here's the first light bulb again, and you can see it's much brighter than the three light bulbs in series. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to connect another light bulb in parallel to this one and we're going to see if the brightness is affected at all. Now we have the two light bulbs in parallel with one another and as we could see they are equally bright. The reason for this is because both light bulbs are connected directly across the source. They both have three volts across each light bulb. As a result, the same amount of current is flowing through these two identical light bulbs. And that's why when you connect light bulbs in parallel with each other, the brightness is the same. It doesn't reduce because the voltage across each light bulb is the same, which will induce the same amount of current, assuming the two resistances are the same for each light bulb. Now we have three light bulbs in parallel with each other, and the brightness has not decreased. Each of these three light bulbs have three volts across them, and so the same amount of current is flowing through each light bulb. Now the only thing that has increased is the total current being drawn from the battery, because it's powering three light bulbs, so it takes more energy from the battery. So make sure you understand that whenever you have multiple light bulbs connected in series, the brightness will be reduced because the current flowing, each, flowing through each light bulb is reduced. But whenever you have three light bulbs connected in parallel with one another, the brightness remains the same because the current flowing through each resistor is the same. But the total current being drawn from the battery, that is increased. It's three times as what it was when you had one single light bulb. Now, let's solve the series circuit and the parallel circuit. The series circuit on the left, the reason why it is a series circuit is because there's only one path for the current to flow. So those three resistors are connected in series. On the right, the current have multiple paths to flow. It can go through the first resistor, it can go down through the second or the third. And so that's the difference between a series or parallel circuit. Now let's calculate the current flowing in the series circuit. 
instead of drawing a picture for each light bulb, I'm going to use a resistor to represent it because every light bulb contains a certain amount of resistance. In a series circuit, the first thing you need to do is calculate the total resistance. And it's just the sum of the individual resistors. So it's going to be 50 plus 50 plus 50, and that's going to give us a total resistance of 150 ohms. Now the next step is to calculate the current. So using Ohm's law, V is equal to IR. Solving for I is going to be the voltage of the battery divided by the total resistance of the circuit. So we have a 6 volt battery and a total resistance of 150 ohms. 6 divided by 150, that gives us a current of 0 0.04 amps. Now I'm going to convert that into milliamps. Now what you need to know is that 1 amp is equivalent to 1,000 milliamps. So we need to set up the units in such a way that the unit amps cancel, giving us the unit that we want, which is milliamps. 0 0.04 times 1,000, this is equal to 40 milliamps. So that is the current that is flowing through each resistor in the series circuit. Now let's get the voltage across each resistor, which is going to be the same for each one. So it's going to be the current flowing through the resistor times the resistance. Each resistor has a current of 0 0.04 amps flowing through it, and the resistance is 50 ohms. 0 0.04 times 50 is 2 volts. So we have a voltage drop of 2 volts across each resistor. And that makes sense because the total voltage drops, let me say that again, the sum of all the voltage drops should add up to the voltage of the battery, which it does. Now, let's calculate the current flowing through each resistor in a parallel circuit, and then we're going to talk about it. Now, the first thing that we need to realize is that the voltage across each of the resistors in the parallel circuit is the same. Each resistor is connected directly across the battery. So each resistor will have a voltage drop of 6 volts. Now to calculate the current, we could use Ohm's law. So the current is going to be the voltage divided by the resistance. So we have a 6 volt battery across each 50 ohm resistor. So it's 6 divided by 50, which gives us a current of 0.12 amps. Now, if we convert that into milliamps by multiplying it by 1,000, we're going to get 120 milliamps. So notice the difference between these two values. Because the current flowing in the light bulb in, rather, in the light bulbs in the parallel circuit, because it's so much higher, that's why the light bulbs are so much brighter in this uh, setup is because there's more current flowing through it, and also each resistor, or rather each light bulb, has a greater voltage across it. You have six volts across the light bulb as opposed to uh, two volts. So because the voltage is greater on the right side, the current flowing through each light bulb will be greater, and so the light bulb is brighter in the parallel circuit. Now for those of you who might be taking the tests on series and parallel circuits, chances are you're going to have to answer some questions regarding the brightness of the light bulb for each type of circuit. So to review, in a series circuit, the brightness of the light bulb decreases for each light bulb that you add in series. So if you have two light bulbs in series, it's going to be brighter than having three light bulbs in series. And the reason for that is because the voltage across each resistor decreases in a series circuit and the current flowing through each resistor decreases as you add more light bulbs in the series circuit. And therefore, the brightness of each bulb will decrease due to the fact that there's less current flowing through it. In the parallel circuit, as you connect more light bulbs in parallel with the other light bulbs, the voltage across each light bulb doesn't change. It remains six volts. And so the current doesn't change. The current flowing through each resistor 
is going to be 0.12 amps. So you're going to have 0.12 amps or 120 milliamps flowing through each resistor. What does change is the total current that's being pulled from the battery. Because we have three resistors, the battery is dishing out 360 milliamps.